Hello everybody, Padjusha here. Today, uh, I forgot that this was coming out because, uh, one, I was busy editing, uh, Persona 5 Royal on this compete on this screen, and I was playing Yakuza 0 on my t main TV screen, so I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna play some games when I look on Twitter, people say, talk about SMT3 trailer, They're like, oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> uh, so, today's trailer we're looking at is a DLC trailer for a character that we all know, <laughs> we all love, and uh, I do have something I want to say about this, but I'll wait until after the reaction, but it's our boy. Our boy is back. Our boy from Devil May Cry Dante. So let's get into this trailer. If you guys want to check out for yourself, there's going to be a link in the description down below. So let us start. Boom. There's that. Alright. So, going to start in. Fix that audio. 3, 2, 1, play. これが東京か。どうやら寿司だの芸者だのって雰囲気じゃなさそうだな。汚しょうね。え、また会えると思ってた。あれが魔人の一人。お手並み拝見と行こうか。ダンテ。ない。気に入ったぜ。ビンゴ、are <笑> you <笑> <laughs> there was something on screen there, and that is the thing that I want to talk to you guys about. So, cool! Dante's in the game! Well, not really. He's DLC. So, he was... Dante, I don't... If I'm wrong, please correct me. Dante was not originally part of the Japanese version of Nocturne. If I'm remembering right, uh, believe Nocturne had three versions that came out. One that didn't have Nocturne, that didn't have Dante. The second version that did have Noc Dante in it, and then the third one that replaced Dante with Rider. And the one that everyone is getting when this remaster comes out is the one based off of Rido. So. We're getting Dante as DLC. And it is paid $10. So if you go right about here, right down here, 900 yen or about $10. That's a little problem because it's like I was takes once a forward. To sit back. Not gonna lie, kinda wish Dante was free, free DLC, cause again, he was basically removed from the game to be replaced by another person. So why not just give give it to everyone for free? Cause and every and every other version of the game of when Nocturne release uh, had Dante in it, so. Why have him paid? I mean, like, at least have him, like, you know, a little bit of time free DLC. You know, and this is just my opinion have him as a free limited time DLC. And then after that certain short time, then have everyone pay for it. Because you took him out. Why, why not just keep him in? Or, you know. At least, you know, what, 
What's the story I'm trying to say? Uh, you took him out, just keep him in. It's maybe something has to do with Capcom? I have no idea, because I don't know what's beyond the scenes of that. But... I think my, my thought is pretty fine. Just have him for limited free time DLC, then pay afterwards. And Alice DLC is kind of dumb if I had to like really cr criticize them for that. With Catherine Full Body, everyone, when it first released on PS4, everyone had to pay for the DLC. And then, not even a year later, or just about a year later for Japan, the Switch version comes out and they get all the DLC for free. So, so the PlayStation side just like gets no discount or anything for that. Just why? That's not really fair. <laughs> Cause like I wouldn't see it if it was like oh a game of the year edition. Or some something along the lines of that, but just like, hey, barely it was even a year before, even since its release. So it's not really fair, my personal opinion. And then with Persona Five Royal, I just being that, but Pro Tags like ultimate uh, Persona is locked behind paid DLC when. All the other characters in the game get their ultimate persona in game and you can use it there. That's not fair. Why does that have to happen? I don't know. Just again, dumb DLC practices. Just really wish they they they, they know that. And I even think like uh like uh they they even put put in their uh a polls about like oh hey which guys like DLC with this game uh, and I and I when I did my poll I said no DLC absolutely not because like just like just have it be in the game let it be unlocked in the game I don't care if you have to go through some tedious stuff at least it's still in the game don't take anything out sell it afterwards like Dante here they took him out. Now I have to pay him to get him back in. Just, just my personal opinion. Just think it's really dumb. But it's cool to have Dante Coco back in, and hopefully when this comes to us, we get you know Dante's voice actor to come back. Uh, I, I don't really know his name, but uh, he, I hope they uh, Alice gets his uh, voice actor back. Pretty pretty cool too, because. Uh, when I played DMC Five, that was a really fun game. So hopefully they get get his voice acted back, <laughs> and you know, if they do something you know different with you know this Dante DLC, then I think that would be acceptable to you know pay the extra. But you no, know, like uh, oh hey, get Dante, don't get Virgil in there as well, because <laughs> actually Alice did had a uh, DMC Five like. Uh, little crossover with their mobile game totally forgot the the name but uh like snt d2 something along the lines of that so having like maybe virgil or nero in the game would be pretty cool but uh i don't think they will so uh eh. so tell me what you guys thought about you know dante being back and you having to do pay deals pay to get him back in Love to know your thoughts, comments, and opinions in the comment section down below. Like always, like thank you guys for watching. Please go to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Check the links in the description below for my social media links. And I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Power out. Yeah.